Sure, ako po yung magpe-present ng PowerPoint. Sino magpe-present ng PowerPoint? Yung Mia, sir. Mia po. Yeah. Mariel, kindly make me a host. Sir, paano po? Uh, punta ka sa participants. And then, click mo yung more. Okay. Okay na po, sir. Mia, you may start presenting. In response to the video, me and my co-researchers decided to find a possible solution to lessen our plastic use, which is why we came up with the idea to make our product, the banana, Musa Akuminata, and Babi Shana Stem Woven Echo Bag. This is the background of our study. Plastic bags have been a significant problem to our environment. Since plastic bags are considered as one of the primary causes of pollution, we decided to make an alternative product to reduce plastic use. Eco bags are eco-friendly substitutes for plastic bags because it decomposes faster than plastics, and eco bags are reusable, sustainable, and biodegradable. To specify, paper bags only take six to eight weeks to decompose, while plastic bags take more than 500 years, which means that paper bags are good for our environment since they minimize waste and pollution. Banana or musa fiber is one of the most potent natural fibers because they contain cellulose fibers, which is commonly used to produce bags. Banana musa acuminata is babushana stem is the most abundant here in the Philippines. However, it is usually thrown as waste. We decided to use this species of banana to make use of something considered only as waste. Now, this is our statement of the problem. First is what are the characteristics of the banana stem that makes it suitable for making an echo bag? Well, according to Preet and Balakrishna, the pseudo stem is the largest source of fiber and it contains a large amount of cellulose that can be used in making papers. What are the materials used in making banana echo bag? The materials used in making banana echo bag are basin, blender, chopping board, gloves, knife or scissors, super glue, measuring cup, pot, strainer, and sodium hydroxide. However, the sodium hydroxide is only optional since it is only used when the banana stem is not soft enough after boiling it in the water. This is the process of making the echo bag. The researchers will firstly cut six kilograms of banana stem into small pieces, then place the chopped banana stem into boiling water. Next, the researchers will add 25 ml of sodium hydroxide into the mixture. After that, the researchers will wash the boiled banana stem with clean water. When the boiled banana stems have been washed thoroughly, it will then be put into the blender and add some small amount of water. After it has been blended, the researchers will take the crushed banana stem and put it in a strainer. When that has been done, it shall be taken out to dry under the sun. And once it has dried, the banana paper will be cut into strips, which will be used to weave echo bag. What is the effectiveness of banana stem fiber as a component in making an echo bag? To answer this question, we will present the result of our trials. This table represents the result of the first trial, which revealed that after 3 hours and 14 minutes, the ordinary paper bag sandal broke. After 14 hours and 30 minutes, the Uniqlo paper bag ripped from the bottom. After 15 hours, the banana echo bag sandal ripped. Next is for trial 2. The presented data revealed that after 4 hours and 8 minutes, the ordinary paper bag sandal broke. After 12 hours and 13 minutes, the handle of Uniqlo paper bag ripped. After 13 hours and 47 minutes, the banana echo bag handle ripped. 
This table represents the result of the third trial, which revealed that after 3 hours and 49 minutes, the ordinary paper bag sandal broke, a bag sandal rip. In all of the treatment conduct, conducted to the test the durability of the different echo bags, it is evident that the banana, musa cuminata, and balbiciana stem echo bag is last to gain damage among the different classification of echo bag, which makes it the most durable and effective as an echo bag. And here are some documentations for trial three. Is there a significant difference between the durability of using the ordinary echo bag and the banana stem echo bag? Yes, based on the data that we have just presented a while ago, there is in fact a significant difference between the durability of each echo bag because the banana stem echo bag handle broke after a long time of 12 hours and 9 minutes, while the ordinary echo bag broke only after 3 hours and 49 minutes. Following will benefit from this study. To the administration, this study can serve as an opportunity for the school administration to publish a research paper conducted by its students. To the science investigatory project teachers, this study can serve as an example for science investigatory project teachers to show their research students in the future. To the students taking up SIP, this study can be used as a basis if the research topic is similar to this research's focus. To the community, this study can be useful for the community, particularly livelihood programs, in a way that this study can prompt the community to make echo bags with banana, musa, akuminata, and balbishana stem fiber, which can also be a source of income. To the future researcher, this study needs to undergo to undergo further research to observe more valid and realistic pieces of evidence. These are the summary of our findings. How the paper bags are assembled plays a significant role on its durability. As is stated by Nora Fulmer in one of her blogs, Paper bags can carry about 12 kilograms of goods. The bag's material and design are crucial to its success. A strong handle makes a strong echo bag. A paper bag can fail to carry the weight inside if the handle is attached poorly. This can be caused either by the manufacturer not putting enough adhesive in the handle to support possible weight the bag will carry, or the consumer putting more weight than the bag can carry. After we conducted our study, we came up with these conclusions. To conclude, the researchers can therefore say that the echo bag's handle and bottom part must be strong because they are the primary carriers of the weight of the goods inside. The echo bag should be assembled properly and carefully. As we have just said a while ago, when a paper bag is not made properly, it can bring adverse effects to its durability. The market goods should be arranged properly inside the bag. The arrangement of the market goods must be placed properly inside the bag for the weight of the goods be equally distributed. Here are some recommendations. The researchers suggest that it is better to use the echo bag made from the banana, musa, akuminata, and babishana stem for the reason that it is eco-friendly, biodegradable, and durable. Due to the materials used in making the banana echo bag, this product can serve as a livelihood for unemployed people. This way, the teachers can also utilize this product as an output for technology and livelihood education. The researchers also recommend that when weaving this echo bag to use strong adhesive, to weave and assemble it properly and carefully, and to let the sheet of banana paper dry completely. Since the durability of the echo bag mostly depends on the handle, we strongly suggest that it is made to be strong and can handle the weight of the market goods. And that concludes our presentation. Thank you so much, presenters. Everyone is encouraged now to raise questions.
can either mute or unmute your um, microphone or you can chat your questions inside our chat box if there are any. Chair Shibi? Yes, Chair. Chair, paano yung ayon natin dito yung guidelines? What do you mean by guidelines, Chair? Ta tayo ba ang ano? Tayo ba ang una? Uh, yes, Chair. Um, the panel will be the first to ask questions and some of the uh, students can also raise questions if ever they have questions. Ah, okay, sige. Sino yung kasama natin? Um, right now po, we have Sir Nelson inside. We have you, Teacher Noel, and me. Later on, mag-join pa sila, Teacher Girl, because they have um, class at the moment. Uh, good, morning, si sir. good morning, Sir Nelson po. Hello, good morning. So, ako muna, Teacher Shibi. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. We can start po. Okay, sige. Um, <clears throat> una, I, I, I just want to congratulate uh, everybody kasi despite the situation natin, you were able to conduct your uh, very own research study. Ano? So, sa study nila, ano, nila Marielle, your study is uh, feasible. And, pero lang akong tanong dito, the differences among the three echo bags used in, the, in your experiment were not statistically computed, but by means of observation lang. Okay, for you to uh, say the significance of the difference of the three experiments, dapat ginamitan nyo siya ng statistical tools. Okay? Kasi kapag ka-observation lang, malamang na hindi pa gaano, uh, ganun kaano yung reliability ng result pagka-observation lang. Pero kapag ginamitan nyo siya ng statistical tool, doon nyo pa malang masasabi na significant yung uh, difference ng tatlong experiments nyo. Okay? And then doon sa process, yung market goods po ba na ginamit ninyo doon sa tatlong eco bags ay pare-pareho? Yes po. Okay. Kasi doon sa ano, doon sa documentation ninyo, magkakaiba yung laman. Pero pare-parehas pa rin po sila ng weight chair. Oo nga, so dapat kahit parehas yung weight, dapat ang ginamit nyo is the same market goods. Okay? So para malaman nyo yung ano, yung, yung uh, para makontrol nyo talaga yung variable. Kasi kapag kaiba-iba, meron yung mga market goods na uh, hindi pala siya ganun ka ano dun sa, sa eco bag na yon. So dapat same. Okay? Across dun sa tatlong eco bags. Ano pa ba? <clears throat> Ito. Uh, some, some of your statement of the problems were not addressed by the results given in your manuscript. Halimbawa, yung effectiveness of your product. How did you measure the effectiveness of your product? Paano nyo nalaman na effective yung eco bag ninyo? Pinag-compare po namin yung naging observation namin, sure, yung mga naging result po ng trial 1, 2, tas 3, sure. And then, ano yung data ninyo na magsasabi na effective nga siya? Di ba, di ba lahat at the end eh nasira? Opo. Butcher, pero pinakahuli po kasi sa lahat ng trial na ano, nahuhuli nahuhul, po nahuhulog lagi yung banana eco bag chair. Doon po kami okay. ng base chair. Okay, so good. So, nagbase kayo doon sa uh, sa time. Ano? Okay, so good. So, yung, yung recommendation, suggestion ko na lang is 
um, gumawa kayo ng 10 or more samples ng product ninyo, tapos ipagamit ninyo doon sa sa mga tao. And then, um, make a satisfaction survey on how well the echo bag served them well. Ano, para magkaroon din kayo ng idea kung um, gaano uh, magiging uh, tawag dito yung kapag ka meron na yung product ano ba tawag doon si Sir Shibi yung paano nila yung doon sa market kapag gaano rating sir yun <clears throat> actually sir yung first model ganun kaso hindi na achieve due to the pandemic nga Ay, oo, oh, oh, no. Sa bagay. Supposed to be they are going to let people try the product. But however, due to the con current condition, uh, nag-stick na lang sila stating it qualitatively uh -oh. without compromising the study chart. Oo uh po. -oh. Sige, suggestion lang naman po yan. Yes, sir. So overall, so maganda, maganda yung result. So congratulations. So yun lang po yung part ko. Thank you po. Thank you, po. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Teacher Noel. Um, Sir Nelson, do you have question, po, sir, or any comments po for the uh, presenters? Aka mute si sir. Uh, Mia, pa unmute si sir. Hello. Okay, sir. Sir, we can hear you, po. Uh, all right. Uh, well, um, first of all, I would like to congratulate the group for coming up with this beautiful experiment. Indeed, for me, it's a job well done because uh, it's a very nice uh, opportunity for you to experience doing some research. And then, uh, sa akin, naging successful because you're able to present it, diba? Considering our situation for the moment. All right. Uh, ang una kong tanong... Kasi interesado ako kung paano nila na-conceptualized this kind of uh, product or experiment. Ano kaya nag-udyok sa inyo para ito yung gagawin ninyo? Yun ang gusto kong malaman sa mga researchers. Hello? Narinig kaya ako, Teacher Shivi? Narinig nila kaya ako? Yes, sir. Narinig po nila, sir. Okay. So, kahit sino sa kanila sasagot sa akin. Sir, the current um, situation of our environment wherein there are plastic pollutions and there are air pollutions like that po, it urged us to reduce our plastic use po to at least help the environment in our special way. <laughs> Okay, so congratulations because you have that in mind already at very young age. Yun na isip ninyo yung concern of the environment. So, ibig sabihin, because you have the concern of the environment, so that prompted you to come up with this kind of uh, product. So, congratulations for that. All right. Now, next question is, how long were you able to come up with the output? In, your, in this kind of uh, experiment. Gaano katagal nyo na, na kayo nakaroon ng, yun nakita niyo yung output ninyo? Kasi knowing na you, you worked individually, correct? You did that work as a group, pero through online lang kayo nagko-communicate. Tama po ba? Tama ba? Okay. So, gaano nyo katagal? Gaano katagal? Yes, Bag, bag, ga, gaano katagal bago kayo, bago nyo nakita yung end result nitong um, product ninyo? About two, two months po. Two months. Alright. About two months. Alright. And then, ask ko lang, uh, sino yung actual na gumawa ng experiment sa product na yung ito? other two uh, My other two groupmates ko. Okay, sige. So, I appreciate that, you know, kasi kaya ko tinatanong ito, definitely, I know you did not work as a group, but you only collaborated through online, correct? You collaborated through online. And I appreciate that everyone is very knowledgeable of uh, 
the what do you call it of the process that you did to come up with this kind of product. So yeah, appreciate the effort. And I congratulate you for that, my dear grade 10 students. All right. Yeah. And then, um, para sa akin, you know, Teacher Shivi, sure. uh, I hope that uh, the other, uh, the lower levels, especially those who are in the science class, would also, ex uh, parang gusto ko magiging model nila itong group na ito. Because I see in you the effort. Kasi yun ang pinakahihintay ko sa totoo lang. Uh, knowing that I've been in Casa del Nino, main campus, science uh, high school, correct? Alam yes. nyo yan. So, every year, laging, lag, lagi yan, meron sila mga investigatory project, which I am one of the judges before. I was one of the judges before. I used to judge their output. So, isa yun sa gusto ko talagang makita for the first batch of the science class of Casa del Nino Rojas. Indeed, nag-materialized. And, of course, I don't only congratulate the students, but I also congratulate your teacher, Teacher Shivi, okay. for coming you, up sir. with this kind of activity. Alright? That's why, di ba, una sabi ko, kaya chinat ko si Teacher Shivi, gusto ko, dapat there should be a, um, what do you call this, a documentation, especially in, the, in your presentation, para gusto ko ito na, gusto ko ito na magiging model sa mga susunod na batches ng science class sa ating school. Okay? So, congratulations. Yun lang, yun lang ang ano. Na, I really appreciate it. I know Teacher Noel is into that kind of endeavor. Kaya, syempre, marami siyang, uh, marami siyang alam tungkol dyan. So, naka, ay, na, alam ko, naka, makakatulong yung mga uh, suggestion ni Teacher Noel, yung mga kanyang uh, comments for you to be able to improve yourselves because I know this is just the beginning of everything. Mas marami pa kayong tatahakin na ganitong gawain. Yes. Alright? So, congratulations. God bless everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sir Thank Nelson you, sir. and Sir Thank Noel. You, sir. Congratulations, presenters. So, uh, we hope, we do hope that we can see you after this in a broader field. Okay? Okay. Uh, wherein we can have the uh, facilities, the instruments, the proper instrument to test the, rele uh, the, the reliability of your study. So, congratulations. Yeah, okay. Teacher Shivy, one more. Yes, eh, sir. Isa pa, isa pa. Kasi yung insistence nila, knowing ang dami nilang naging hamon dito, eh, di ba? Una, wala naman sila sa laboratory. No? We're, yes. They're supposed to work in the lab, di ba? Yes, sir. But uh, still, they're able to come up with the, with this uh, uh, with this out with their output. So, uh, it's a matter of attitude, teacher, CV, and of course, your motivation to them yes. really impact their desire to accomplish the said um, uh, activity. Okay? So, yes. thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Um, our time is up for 40 minutes, so we need to end the call and then join in again for the second group. Po. So I'll have to okay. end the call, po, sir, and then join po ulit. Okay. Okay. Thank you, okay. Po. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hello, Teacher Noel. Thank you. Welcome, sir.